my husband wants us to have threesome and anal sex. What happened to guarding your loved one jealously? Threesome. It get the kind of work will be a shower work. There are some kind of things and exploration that you do with only prostitutes. That's why we have a shower. Virtuous woman is not a stupid woman. If people should go and read that. I don't know what you push pastors have told you guys. It's virtuous woman, you be taking nonsense. That is not virtuous woman, that is a stupid woman. And even if you want to do all the stuff that we would necessarily do in Lagos, please don't involve your wife. Sex is the mind. Sex is not where you put it. Can you be asking your wife you are staying in this area? house with for threesome. But wait, what I want to get is that threesome, is, it, is the man trying to call his friends or he wants, she wants to have three ladies? If you ask How? me, who will I ask? Because any man that can do anal sex, do threesome, is gay. Hi guys, welcome to Moments with Blessing CEO. It's another wonderful Saturday. How's your weekend been going? How's life been treating you? Welcome to Moment with Blessing CEO. If you're just tuning into this station for the first time or you're watching this show for the first time, I welcome you with a kiss. Um, what we do here practically is we, we talk about everything about relationships, sex, and marriage. Everything that happens behind closed doors. The things about relationship and marriage that they do not tell you. That is what this show is for. Sorry, I don't know what you my head said. Sorry about that. Um, I was using my headset and I forgot. So let's quickly read up the story. Um, a lady actually sent us a message today because oftentimes we use um, people's story. There are some people that just want to be anonymous, you know, based on their religion, background. So most times they write me because I've done this for barely, for more than eight years. So she said, and this is actually weird to me, after reading the story, I was kind of, you know, lots of stuff was going on through my head. I'm like, does this happen? And she said, my husband wants us to have a threesome. <laughs> Do you know what a threesome is? Let me break it down. Threesome is when you, your husband, brings another individual to come and have sexual intercourse with you. What happened to jealousy? What happened to guarding your loved one jealously? Threesome. Let's continue the story. Ah, ah. I didn't even finish university. She said, my husband wants us, wants us to have threesome and anal sex. I think I'm going to be sweating into this theory. <laughs> it's not the regular story of relationship therapy. But what the? We have been together for six years now, and I don't have a child. So he uses it to threaten me that if I do not agree with him, he will return my bride price. And I am scared of lose, losing him. You see the fear? <laughs> She said she's scared of losing him. I have been to different hospitals, done different scans and texts, and I am free. Nothing is wrong with me. She said, blessing see you. Can I go? Should I leave the marriage? I want to come to your office, but I'm far back in Taraba State. Please, what do I do? Should I leave the marriage, or should I just respect my husband and have the threesome and the anal sex. Hmm. I think when I'm coming on this set, I'm going to be coming with water because there are some kind of stories that are a bit weird. So let me quickly, you know, round it up for you guys. For those of you who, who didn't understand what I'm saying. A married woman actually wrote to us and said her husband wants to have a threesome with her and anal sex. And he says, he uses it to threaten her because they've been married for over six years and she has not had a child. So, and he's giving her a condition, bail condition, even if that costs you day, that if she does not accept to the threesome or to the anal sex, then the marriage is over. 
before we get into the topics and the phone lines begin to beep, let me make a lot of people understand something. Let's talk about the threesome. Let's break it down. I've already told you that threesome is two couples, whether you're in a relationship or in a marriage, bringing a stranger. Some people bring their best friends. Some people bring their, I don't know how to do it. But bringing an entire stranger to have sexual intercourse with your partner while you washed, they call it fetish. Ritualist. This is, this is ritual. This is pure ritual. For me, it sounds kind of weird because I felt a lot of women wanted men of their own, you know? And for the anal sex, for me, I don't like being judgmental. Whatever works for you, as so long as that's what you like. But for me, anal sex is a no. That's my opinion. I don't want to offend anybody. That's my opinion. Anal sex is a no. Now, the, what I want to talk about right now is the husband. And men, I think I need you guys to pay attention. Women, if you're sitting by your TV side, look at your husband and tell him, pay attention. Look at your boyfriend and tell him, pay attention. Men, it get the kind of work will be a shower work. There are some kind of things and exploration that you do with only prostitutes. That's why we have a shower. It is not everything that you practice on your partner. That's why she's your wife. Many men go and watch pornography and want to go and be drinking different concussions so that their bola will be big, so that they will last longer in bed. Oh, God, five minutes is enough. Don't kill somebody's child. Don't kill somebody's child. So my point is, why impose it on her? Because to the best of my knowledge, I don't think a sane man will want to have threesome with his wife. I used to tell people that if you want to do all those exploring, adventure, fetish, you should have all these girls. There are some people that can do these things willingly. Like this is even their lifestyle. Their anus is already open like a normal private part. We're picking the follow come out from. But you don't force people to do what they don't want to do. So for the men, I feel you need to give your wife some respect. It's not everything that you watch. You want to come and practice it at home, just like pornography. Growing up, um, a lot of us watch porn, uh, porn, right? You watch porn. Why are you looking at me? You don't watch porn? Uh -huh, good. All of us watch porn, including everybody behind the set. They are looking. All of them watch porn. <laughs> so, when you watch pornography, what I realize when people come for counseling, they bring that fantasy that they have seen in a pornographic movie, and want to bring it to reality, but they forget that every pornographic movie you watch is edited. You might see a man knocking a woman for one straight hour, pack, 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 but they don't cut and dry and rub oil. Because sometimes you'll be watching porn, the man don't dry, the next thing you can't see one plenty, plenty oil. Those things are cut and join. When the guy is tired, they will wait, they will edit it and put it together. Don't go and kill somebody's child. So if your wife says she's not comfortable with a threesome, even the Bible said, mm, let me quote Bible. I don't know the chapter, but I'm going to say, the Bible said, so we come together in agreement, not by force. If there are couples that want to do it, I know couples that do it. But if the woman is objecting, you don't have to impose it on her because she, she hasn't given birth. Okay, you, you don't go test. Because most times, all of them go just they call women, they say, you are barren, you are barren. Oh, God, with threesome and this uh, um, announcer, you never reach for you to get infection. You never reach for your, for your spend today, watery. Because for you to be telling your wife that kind of thing, you'd have done pium, 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 pium. You are not looking for who to use and be clearing fantasy. I feel it's an insult to me for my husband to come home after a hectic day and come and tell me that I, I should do three. Even, even to do normal sex is hard, is work. It will not be threesome. What, what, what will we be doing? A lot of people say it's just fantasy. It's like seeing reality. But for me, I don't think it's something married people should consider. I've said it over and over again. Once you're married, you should be focused, be able to bring out the best in your spouse. That's the biggest problem we have. Once we get married, that is when we start to look outside. What is threesome? It is not everything that you must do. That was one thing my father told me growing up. It is not everything you must do. You know about it. Though. It's okay to be aware. Don't be ignorant. You are aware about this thing. But it's not everything you must eat. It's not everything you must test. 
There are some things you say, no, this one is not for me. No, this one is not for me. Because a lot of people started doing this anal sex and threesome for adventure. When I go go person birthday party, they don't share brownie. All of them are done high. They will not say, let's play easy devil's game. Pick a gay, kiss a gay. Pick three people, not three people. Before you know, everybody, ah, 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 ah. You know, what people actually call enjoyment in this generation is waywardness, prostitution. And when you come and say it, because you don't sound like them, you don't pro they think you are lying. A lot of girls don't even believe that you can make money of your own. No, it's, it's just a crazy mindset. So before we open up the phone lines right on your screen, I'm going to beg every man out there, I go, it's not everything that is actually meant for a married woman. No, 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 no. No. Carry all those your adventure. Carry and go, get a lot of side chicks. Rich men picking where they find adventure. Self. As you they drink a bit of shaker, they, they drink ganduka, ganduka. Only one are very active. But I don't think you should come and impose it on your wife. I feel it's an insult. And for the beautiful woman, I would say, you are saying you don't want to lose your husband. Your husband is lost already now. He's a lost man. He's a gunner. Yes, somebody that boldly tells his wife that I want to have a threesome and have sex with you is a, is a mental case. We need to bundle him to rehab. And it's not just that he suggested. It's a difference between we're having a conversation. You want to impose it on her just because you feel like she doesn't have a child. Oh, my darling, if I were to be you, the woman, and you are listening to the show, I will walk away. That means you're a sweet baby. For your husband to want to have three sons with you and don't want to let you go, hey, you, don't want you understand? So for me, I always tell people sometimes, if you want to regain your respect, you become scarce. Scarcity creates value, even in marriage. Sometimes, get them where your husband go to quarry. Eh? You could just find one place, go, or you keep yourself busy with work. If your mates, they close by 5 o'clock, you go to close by 10. You know, you look for something to, you know, distract you. So as for the men out there, please, I don't think it's something you should force your wives to do. And I don't even feel like it is something your wife should do. Marriage is precious. Marriage is, I don't know how to, I don't know how you could see marriage, but for me, marriage is sacred. Any adventure you want to do it, do it when you are single. I think that one is forgivable. Not when you're married, you want to come and start imposing all this thing on an innocent woman just because she is married. For me, my personal opinion, OG party. Um, threesome, and our sex. Don't come near me. I will use two by two on your neck. Don't come. Don't carry that adventure and come near me. So we are going to open up the phone lines so that people can actually call and drop their opinion. Because the woman is saying, should she leave the marriage or should she just comply because she doesn't want to lose the man? I wish I can even picture this man. When you see this man, I'll be one black short devil. Because it's always the ugliest men are always the most wicked set of people. That's the truth. So he cannot be threatening you just because of treats. So what will he tell people is the reason why he kicked you out of the house. So for me, I'm going to say if you're the woman, I feel you should just give him space. In the story you sent to us, because we are not seeing you face to face, I don't know if you're working, I would have told you to put more effort in your job. You know, Try other means of um, um, childbirth. We have IVF, we have a lot of, we have surrogates. There are lots of things you can do, even though I don't know your financial capacity. But if you're looking for a child, there are lots of things that you can, you can even adopt. Allow him to be doing his threesome. But if he insists that you should leave the house, I want to see that man that will be insane to drive his wife out of her matrimonial house just because she refused to do threesome and anal sex. Man, let, let's take you to social media. They will drag you like small generator. I passed my neighbor, Jen. So to me, I feel it's not something that you should force. I feel it's something that you should discuss about because this thing called anal sex to me i still have this very strong fear like how sometimes i try to phantom it in my head i can't even phantom it in my head that's the honest part and me personally i get very irritated i sometimes i even get irritated with my man not the one of that person i want to come and join like how when you are doing this threesome do you put a wash off or you just chuck it here chuck it here chuck it here can you find a man at the threesome can somebody explain to me because I am lost? What do you guys do in the three? So is it chuki chuki? In different, I need to understand. So feel free to call the phone lines right in front of your television. And please, when you're calling to drop your opinion, turn down the volume of your TV, guys. Hello? 
Okay, I think we lost the caller. If you're calling, please turn down the volume of your television. Call in and tell us what you understand about anal sex, threesome, and added orgy party. Because get one kind of party where you una they go, they go say no go they do like Sodom and Gomorrah. Hello. Yes, good evening. Please. Good evening, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay, my name is Omalicha, calling from Delta State. Oh, Omalicha. If I have a baby girl, I'm going to name her that name. Very unique. Omalicha. Oh, I'm blushing. <laughs> so you want to contribute anything to the show, Omalicha? I really enjoy what, like, I really enjoy listening to you. And the woman is going through is noisy. So that's what I can do, take a walk. It's not even more than so you take a walk instead of you having a disease that you will not be able to treat. So let her take a walk. She can adopt, like you said. Your opinion is the best. But trust me, I love your dressing, Sha. Makes sense. Oh she, Omalicha. Thank you so much, darling. God bless you for calling. The lady actually said Omalicha. Oh, that's a beautiful name. To so those of you who are Igbos, you know what Omalicha, Omalicha is beauty. Mm. Uh, I'm blushing. Hello. Though. Hello. I can hear. You. Good evening. Okay, I think we lost that caller. Omalicha actually agreed with me and said, no, if you know that it's not something you want to do, don't go do it. And there's so many ways to actually have children these days. You have a caller? Hello? Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you and where are you calling from? I'm calling from Lagos. Okay, your name, please. Bless you. Oh, my name's sake. Okay, do you have anything you want to contribute to the show? Can Hello? you hear me? Loud and clear, darling, I can hear you. Okay, I want to contribute on this issue of the man asking the wife for the club and he was like, he's... so my suggestion is if you walk out of the marriage, even though staying with somebody like that, like, why would the husband be asking her for such thing? It's not like that. So if he truly loves her, he won't want to even share her with any person. Thank you so much, Blessing, for calling. She actually concurred with me by saying that let the woman leave the marriage. Now, the truth about it is everybody is saying leave marriage. It's not easy to leave marriage, though. You understand? It's not easy to leave marriage. But for me, I would have left the marriage long time ago. That is a decision for myself. Because any man that can do anal sex, do threesome, is gay. Yes, gay. Quote me anywhere. You are gay. In fact, you are pre-gay. Mm-mm. You are gay for pay. If I, you're, you're just gay. Just come out and say you're gay. <laughs> I don't know what someone wants to enjoy in someone's... I don't know. You know, as beautiful as the Kwekus is, sexy. Ah, ah. When I leave Kwekus, wrong, go back. Why are we so extreme? <laughs> Hello? Okay, we lost the color. Why are we so extreme? Do you know that it's because of all these nonsense things, threesome, gay, that made God... Born Sodom and Gomorrah, Abi. But I know God was angry that time. After, you know, passing them through the Red Sea. I do, I do religion for school now. After passing them, then I went to go and started worshipping. I do God. And started doing gay, doing God was angry. Maybe that's the reason why Dollar does not want to go down. Maybe it's just the... Can we stop that a married couple would come out and say he wants to have three sons with his wife? Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's, that's the height of it. Do we have a caller? Hello? Good evening. Yeah. Hello? Good evening, sir. Your name and where are you calling from? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. I can hear you, sir, loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay, we lost that caller again. Please, when you're calling... Turn down the volume of your television so that we can hear you. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. 
Good evening. Good evening, blessing. How are you doing? <laughs> What's your name and where are you calling from, darling? Okay, my name is Kelita. I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, darling. You want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. Yes, I want to. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, I listen to everything you said, and all I want to contribute is that I love the fact that you're speaking out for many women. But what I want to say to so many women is that they let the men put them through this. They let the men put them through this. And I think it's time for women to, to stand up and tell the men that this is what I want. Mm. Speak up for yourself because here you are speaking out for them. But you see a situation where you're speaking out for a woman. But when you go to the back, she's accepting it from the man. And then they will make you look like stupid. you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> yes. They make you look stupid. So they are fighting for you. You don't want this thing. It's an opportunity for you to stand up and speak up for yourself. Because we, people can't always speak up for you. But when they try to speak up for you, can you just please work with them, cooperate with them so that the men will know that women really detest such... I mean, not all women, though. Women that are discreet about their sex life. Women that know what they want. Let the men know that you don't appreciate this thing. There is a certain way you want to be treated. Mm. There are things you accept and there are things you don't accept. Mm. So I wish women can stand their ground and let the men know. You see, the men will respect them. So that's my contribution. Thank you so much. You're very, very intelligent. God bless you for coming. Wow. <laughs> I think I love that caller. She made a very depth word. Like, that was a very intelligent woman right there. She said, it's how you want him to treat you. That's the truth. Let's learn to come in. Let's learn to say no with every audacity. That audacity that your husband had to come and tell you that he wants to do threesome. Use that same audacity and tell him that Ogui, Ogu, Ogule, Bougie, Amadioha, Alamwaya, Sabawi. What kind of, is the, is the iPhone 3? You know, one thing about you women is only on the media you put, know how to do keep. You know, you need to see where women are fighting on keypad. If you see them on Instagram, this one, this one's now that are sending messages. They are the keypad warriors. Pia, 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 pia. They never learn anything. Oh, oh, Sugonu. Where it is time for you to talk, you will not talk. You will be forming a uh, virtuous woman. Virtuous woman is not a stupid woman. No? If people should go and read that. I don't know what you pastors have told you guys. It's a virtuous woman, you'll be taking nonsense. Mbao. That is not virtuous woman. That is a stupid woman. Speak up for yourself. If you feel that we, we are in a we are in a we are in, we are in marriage and in marriage we are equal, baby, I, I don't like this. This is not my lifestyle. You cannot just suddenly, even if he wants you to do it, some men can do it gradually. You know, you go pamper the girl. I know a lot of people who got into anal sex because they love their partners. It, it wasn't by force. It was just kind of convincing, and they willingly. I don't know how they are doing right now, whether you are going through a lot or not. <laughs> because in my dialect, I say, where be Jazwaga? My dialect means there's no way you can go through the back. I don't understand the kind of enjoyment anybody wants to enjoy with anal sex. But my point is, don't impose it on people. It's not by force, it's not in the Bible. Please, if you want to do your anal sex, you see, go to um, Allen Avenue. The latest place now is Admiral TV in Lagos. If you go to Abuja, you go to Wuse, pick them. This one everywhere is already open. You don't even need to even use lubricant. It's just bang it. Since it's Anna that is one. If you want to do three, some pack. And do you know what I did? That is going to come to my head right now. You will be so shocked that this man that is giving this woman this condition is a very poor man. Oh, jam way, Diego. Oh, I don't think a credible man. A credible, when I mean credible, a principal credible man. Would, there's some kind of conversation you will not even have if you have a credible man. There's some kind of conversation that don't come up. Instead of the man to be thinking of how we are going to have picking, or God, they say, man, they can't bring three some join again. Are you sure that husband does not have child outside? And it sounds like a poor man, Ojiko Ego, on a mate, he's doing three some. Maybe he's his side chick. It's my, pack your load. It's his side chick. He wants to use corner, 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 and rope her inside. Come, wale, and one. You know, men are very corny. Even people behind the scene. I have, I have taken the vengeance, a lot of them. Eh? Men are very, very, very funny. 
That's the truth. So women, you need to learn to stand your ground. For me, anal sex, for me, 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 don't come and cry on top of my head. And you know the funniest part? I don't think any woman will be bold enough to say she has done anal sex. If you're actually watching this um, show right now, and you've had anal sex, I challenge you to be bold. And call anonymously, probably educate us about anal sex. Is there something we are missing? Because we need a professional. But the truth is, all of you are hiding. That means what you're doing is bad. Something you're not bold to talk about. Oh yeah, come and tell us that you've done threesome now. No, no, call this number and explain threesome. Maybe there's something we are missing out. We are part of the old school generation. Oh yeah, call us and tell us that you have done OG party now. Hmm? Maybe somebody's about to call us right now. Hello? Hello, good evening. Hi. Good evening, darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Onyeshi. Okay, Chi, so you want to contribute to the show? Yes, of course. Go ahead. I can hear you, okay? No, that's my name is Onyeshi. Okay, Onyeshi. Okay. Oh, you go ahead and drop your um, opinion. Okay. Yes, I have a father at home, but he likes shouting for my mom. Are you speaking British? Can you be audible? I have a father at home that's shouting for my mom. And that is talking. Hello. Hello. I mean, I have a father at home. One of them is talking. That's shocking for her. Uh, how old are you? Um. How old 40. are you? I'm forty. Oh. Okay. Like I was saying. This program is for 18 plus and children are supposed to have gone to bed by now. So if your children is beside you, please take them to bed because this is a mature conversation that is not meant for them. Okay? Mothers, father, let them go to bed. So as we are, in fact, that call just kind of spoils my ginger for right now, but I'm still here. Okay, we're actually talking about anal sex and um, threesome and um, orgy parties, those weird adventure. Did you not even put BDSM or BBSM? I'll be VDM. Please help me. Help me. BDC. Hello. 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 Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. I want to hear from the men. Like I said, BDSM or BD, if I'm correct, is it BDSM or SMBD or VDA? I don't know about BDSM. That one where they go tie your hand, tie your rope for hand, tie you for neck, hang you like dog. You gonna shout, spank me, mommy? What did I even watch that movie? Hello. 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 Hi. Good evening. Hello? Hello? Can you turn down the volume of your TV, please, so I can hear you? Hello? I can hear you. So, before we quickly go on a break, um, I wanted to explain what BDSM is, because when we come back, I'm going to take more of calls. Don't be ashamed, right? I'm going to take more of calls. If you know, you are anonymous, you can hide your number. If you know you've done anal sex before, come and share with us. Maybe there's something we're not missing, you know. If you've done threesome, can you help us? Let's know what goes on. Is it three, two men, one woman? Which, who, who is who? Because do, do, do. If you are doing BDSM, you tell us how you can hang, so don't go and kiss somebody's shirt like doggo. Eh? So if you want to do all this waywardness, be bold about it. So we are quickly going to go on a break right now. And when I come back, I want you all to tell me about anal sex, um... Threesome, BDSM, and OG party. Hmm? Waywardness, the Gen Z buddies. We'll see you soon. Let's go on a break.
Hi guys, welcome back to Moment with Blessing CEO. And if you're just joining us, it's everything happening behind closed doors. Channel 189 only on Pop Central. We talk about relationship and marriage, everything that happened behind closed doors. We also talk about sex, everything partaking our life as a whole. And today we have a story of a woman who her husband is forcing her to have anal sex. Threesome. Let me even add Jara. OG party. BDSM. She refused, but according to the lady in the story, she says she hasn't had a child for like six years in the marriage. So when she refused, the man is easy to threaten her. You know, so she's calling to ask if she should go ahead. Is this part of marriage? The married people should call us and tell us. Let's know those that are doing threesome in their marriage. Let's know how it is so that you can teach us. Maybe when I marry, I can now find threesome. So she's saying, should she leave the marriage or should she still stay in the marriage? I am of the opinion that she should leave the marriage. And when you are leaving the marriage, you have to tell, your husband will tell people why you are leaving. You. So dear woman, if you're even watching me, keep evidence. If you like say anything when you come, they tell you about threes on record and keep. So that, that will be your alibi. Because men like this, when you go, they say you are an ashaw. It's because you finish doing abortion. They will not believe you. So you better keep a small bit of sugar. In case he wants to shake you, you shake him back. For me, anal sex is not the right place to have sex. All those things you put call fetish is waywardness and stupidity, to the best of my knowledge. The reason why God created a private part, a woman's private part, and a man's private part, he even said leave it for marriage. It's for reproduction. Yes. That's why God said leave it for married people. Since all of us don't do fornicate, nana. He did not say go through the back. The front is the reproduction. Stop all this. I don't know what you guys call fetish. I don't know where you get guys learning from, but I think I'm old school. Yes, I am controversial, but my controversy is not waywardness. To come and start doing threesome with a stranger. I barely even even have sex with somebody that I've met one, two, three months. I have to be very, I'm like a snail. How do you even do it? Would you please don't max your face? They'll just carry one random man, one random woman, you open leg. Like, how do you guys even, oh, oh okay, okay, no, I know how you, you're on colors. You're on colors. I don't think you're going to want to not smoke. When you say, check out ice, not colors. Uh, in fact, Yes, you should start looking for people that are doing threesome. All these apartments in Lagos. What used to happen, happen inside there? People don't beg me. My next year, we call all of you out. All these apartments, all, now there are all those things that happen. Now, yes, you're supposed to carry that. I've been a police, I've been a soldier. In fact, I've been a NAFDAQ people. I don't know if anybody will want to pack. <laughs> pack all of them. May they go stay six, six months for prison. Feel free to call the number right on your screen to contribute to the show, okay? It's two moments with blessings to see you, and I want the show to be fun. Contribute. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, my darling. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Faith. I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, Faith, you want to contribute something to the show? Yeah. Go ahead, my darling. Okay, my own contribution and advice to the woman is for her to leave the marriage. For the fact that she has not yet given birth and the man is instructing her to go on a trip, so it's a big, big no for me. So uh, advising her to leave the marriage. There are other men outside that will accept her. Mm. Yes, I'm not. She should leave the marriage. Okay. Thank you so much, yeah. darling. God bless you for your opinion. So this beautiful lady said she should leave the marriage. Everybody saying she should leave the marriage. If she should leave the marriage, where is she going to go to? We don't even know how she has father, how she has mother. Everybody starts, you know the funniest part? I want you to be bold enough. That your husband that is bold to ask for threesome. Ngwa, call this, call, call, call. And tell us where you tested threesome from. Hello? Hello? Good evening, sir. Good evening. What's Good your evening, name and where are you calling from? from? Thank you. My name is Kingsley. I'm calling from Lagos. Okay, Kingsley, you want to contribute to the show? Yeah. <laughs> I just started watching you since last week. I actually enjoy your program, man. Thank it's you so, so nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, good evening. How is everything going on your family? Fine, fine. Please, fine. Uh, yeah, quickly, uh, this lady uh, that is involved for this thing, uh, my advice to her is that I just thank God that she has not even given birth. You know, okay. in the sense that this man is nothing to write to my about. Okay. 
I'm married. Before I decided to marry on a very good day, I've enjoyed my life. All those things sex to carry woman, do this one, like I carry like four women. I've tried all those things. On a very good day, Sorry, I just made sir, up my mind. Sorry, sir. I want to ask a yeah. question. You say you have I'm carried listening. like four women. At the same I'm time. I'm not carrying up to like four. Oh, take her easy. You won't kill me. <laughs> at the, uh, no, I make I know whether you drink in Hong Kong. See, no, 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 no. Then, uh, this thing I'm telling you, this is like as of 20, as of 2017, 2018, 2019. I got married 2020. Hold on, let me explain to you. I got married 2020. On the very I just thought myself, it was those things, uh, millionaire, is wasting of money. You just waste your money, waste all your resources. At the end, there is no income. But most men nowadays, they don't even know what it's all about family. You start your family out and you take care of your children. Because okay, I'm talking to you, I already have two kids. I have a boy and a girl. Okay? You move on with your life. So the advice I'm going to give to this lady is that she should just move out from that marriage because if possible, that mama likely have a child somewhere else. Mm. She's not aware. Mm. Are you getting me? Mm. That mama likely have a, a child somewhere else. She's not aware. Maybe later on, she will find out that then it will be late. She will find herself a big time mess. Okay? Yes, she will sir. find herself in a big time mess. So let her just find her way. There are a lot of men outside there that will say, accept her for me before she will lose BPRK herself. This life is too sweet, though. You understand? In yes, life, sir. not everybody will bump it in. Not everybody will marry. There are other things that she can still put in place to make herself happy. That is one thing I'm going to advise her. It's not all about man. It's not all about woman. Everybody must not give birth. You understand? She should just focus on her life. If she's doing this, she should focus on whatever she's doing. You understand? That is life. That is the little, the little advice I'm going to tell her. But I bless you, please. The way you say men are always corny. It's not all men are corny, though. Women also have their own side. Are you getting it? Women also have their own bad part. I want to tell you a story now. One of my very good friends is in Europe. He was dating a girl here in Nigeria. Just because the guy had an issue over there in Europe, he returned back to Nigeria last year. He now finds out that <laughs> you are making your face. <laughs> he now finds out that his friend in, in, over there in Europe, he sent his friend to his girlfriend here in Nigeria. Do you know that just because my friend was not opportunity to start coming to Nigeria all the time, he starts to be with my friend. He was not to be with my friend's girlfriend. Is that threesome? I don't know. I don't know how you call that kind of thing. That is traitor. Some ladies are also nothing to write on my back. It's not all about man. If you love a man, you meet your man with that man. What will make you to open your two legs for another man? And his friend. And this my friend said he wants to marry him. And the other boyfriend do not sleep with him. It was not treated again. Now you love me today. You love your my friend tomorrow. It's better you tell him, oh, this is what happened between you and my friend. Yes, and the end the relationship has been scattered. So ladies also have their own. You, you also try to advise ladies at the same time. Please. It's okay, not all about men. Ladies get their own for body. We've, be, last, our last week program, we finished ladies now. It's, it's depending on who I says this. Oh, you don't talk anything about ladies. You're all about men, men, men. Good. I know some men are actually bad, though. Good. I'm not trying to support men. The thing is on both sides. It's there and there. But some ladies are nothing to write to my about. Some I ladies know. are also wayward. I'm know. telling you. I know. Why not? I know. You know, that is my input. My mental lady does find her way. Thank you so much, sir. He made a lot of sense to me. And the man sounded very, very intelligent. Now, you've heard what he said. And I'm happy it's coming from a man. Because if I say it now, they say, listen, listen, not everybody is meant to marry. When you come and see all this, they'll be crying on the internet. There are some assignments that God sent you to come and fulfill in this world. He said, go ye into the world and multiply. He did not say you should go out and be stupid. If multiplication did not come, use your talents, leave a legacy. If you give, there is heaven, actually, if heaven exists, as they used to show us in the Nigerian movie, and you get to heaven's gates, what will you tell God? God will not call you, Kechi, Priska. You say, yes, my Lord. You did three some. How, 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 how will you? You know, even when we get to heaven or hell, we're going to see the drag. This social media, this is not end for air, too. Even when we reach heaven, so thank God go pack all of us for heaven. Oh, yeah. So that's jokes about something you're not proud of. Why do it? Because when you're actually having anal sex, I think I'm going to go, go and read deep about this. There are some 
I don't know. That's why I want someone that has. That, I don't have the experience. Don't you do I'm just open my mouth. Ah, 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 ah. I said, I want to swallow Kokoro. For the first time, Kokoro lesson is um, speechless. Please, do we have any other relationship therapists in the house that have done threesome? Because help us, you know, out of experience. For me, I don't like to condemn people. I feel you should live your life. We have a caller. Hello. Hey, blessing. How are you doing? Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you doing now? I'm fine. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Muyo. I'm calling from Joss. Okay, Muyo, you want to contribute uh, to the show? Yeah, I want to. Uh, the first question I want to ask is, how does how did you say you want it? Two males or two females? They did not give us a <laughs> name. Make it, make it tell us first. They will come with you. You say what's it? Talk them again. Make it tell us how I, I the man say you want her. No, we can't know what to do talk for the matter. <laughs> okay, now nah, you never explain. You go there, explain tire. No, make like you tell us how you want her. If you say that two female you want. Definitely going to be two she... female now. For him to want to two... involve his wife, it's definitely be two female. Nah, man, and does she want it? it? She don't really consider I'm already. That's what I suspect. Yeah, yeah. So, that, so do you understand? Make her marriage work. So why would they advise say... them against her? We go shock say this woman will send her this so she when they do the analysis. She just probably Talk. looking for that validation. You but understand? But if I go make her marriage work, oh. marriage not just not two people too, you know, you know, consign us. So. Which All of analysis now you won't make marriage work. When the marriage scatter. You know, consign you, bless you. You consign me. <laughs> yeah, marriage don't come. You know, marriage don't consign me. You know, consign me. <laughs> Ah, you know, because everybody married me, they make and work as far as everybody will reach everyone. My point is, no force now, no be by force. May, let them talk about it. They will talk about it, they will agree. They oh, God, the way where you yeah. sound, I beg you don't do treason before. Eh, I just go, you ask me, I don't. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. All things are passed to me. Oh, my God, my God. He said, Oh, this has passed away. Women are hearing a man saying it now. When I tell you, women, that when you meet a man and he comes and start asking you, your ex, tell him that all things have passed away. If a man can tell you that all things have passed away, know that there is really a bit of shaker. So for him to say all things have passed away simply means it was something he did that he wasn't even proud of. Because if it was something that was good, it would not pass away. So I don't think, I, I think that anal sex is, maybe it's Americanas. The Americanas, they can sleep with anything. And they are, but in Africa, I don't know. You are pre-gay. And those ones that used to go and you are somebody's girlfriend and you are sleeping with another person, you are pre ashawo Pre simply means you, you, you did nursery, you want to second. You see they do jam. Pre. And if you're a man and you say you want to be knocking a woman from um, the backside, you are pre-gay. That's it. So if you see a man, because we have a lot of men these days that are feminine, that are even finer than we women, we even get them to the dry eyebrow. So if you see, if you shook your this thing for anywhere, you know, let's, let's stop all this. And, and there's something I want to educate you guys before we take another call on sex, right? Sex is the mind. Sex is not where you put it. That is why a man can conveniently masturbate and stick home. Did he put it anywhere? No. Why does he masturbate and come? Imagination. He begins to fiction. He begins to create in his head. That is what sex is about. You never see the one where you go marry a man where you know love. When in the knock, you go to imagine that your ex-boyfriend will dump you. We may, you know now, where you're deputized. So the, truth, the, 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 the whole truth about the whole situation for me is just consent, right? Sex is not where you put it and how you put it. Sex is more... Um, of the mind, when you want to have sex, you clo I don't know about that, but I used to shine at you. I see sex like a sacred thing, the same way you want to pray. If you want to see God, you will close your eye and you will focus. When you're making love to your partner, it's supposed to be passionate. It's except you're no longer attracted to the person. And that's why I always tackle women, be attractive. Let your husband call home and see you and want to touch you. That's the truth about it. So men, it's not about where you put it in, orgy party, whatever, all your kind of stuff. No. And even if you want to do all the stuff, that waywardness people used to do in Lagos, please don't involve your wife. Women are different, like they're on the other side. The reason why you're saying um, you picked her as a wife is because you saw something lucrative in her. 
The other prostitutes that you don't even need to beg them too much, 5K, they don't open backside for you, 2K, they don't open front side for you, 7K in total. Just buy them three bottles of trophy and they drink with pepper soup, oti law. So you don't have to impose it on anybody. So feel free to still call the number on your screen if you want to drop your opinion. Hello? 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 Hi, good evening, ma'am. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Chief. I'm Choma from Lagos. Okay, Choma, you want to contribute to the show? Yes, I want to contribute. Contribute. Go ahead, ma'am. What I will say, eh, that man is a demon. Chimo. Yes, he wants to chase the woman. He doesn't know what he will use to chase the woman. That's why he tells the woman that she wants to have that three son and no says. The man is a demon. Let the woman run for his life. Hmm. Wow. Thank you very much, ma'am. This one is another deep part. God bless you. We have another yeah. caller. <laughs> oh, that's all. All right, ma'am. Thank you very much. God bless you, darling. Hello? Hi, darling. Could you turn down the volume of your TV? Hello? Please, when you're trying to call the number on your screen, if you want me to hear you, turn down the volume of your TV, except I won't be able to hear you. So feel free to call the number right on your screen. It's still Moments with Blessing CEO, channel 189, only on Pop Central DSTV. For those of you who are just coming in or who don't even know what the topic is about, or you just tuned into the channel, we are talking about a married man who is forcing his wife to have anal sex with him, who is forcing his wife to do threesome with him just because she cannot give it. So she is saying she should leave the marriage because the man is threatening that if she does not comply, he's going to go and return her bride price. Now, my point now remains, why do you have to force a woman that is not willing when there are so many women out there that are willing to do the stuff? You don't have to come and impose it on an innocent person. It doesn't work that way for me. And I feel as a man, if you feel like you want to have some adventure with your wife, you should know the woman that you're marrying. That's the truth. Because if you guys are actually adventurous people, you people would have said this from dating. Maybe if this woman was having anal sex with this man or they were doing threesome when they were dating, it wouldn't be a big deal to her. I know a lot of um, couples in relationship that do threesome. You know, if they get married, it's not going to be a new thing now. But you cannot just wake up one day and come and tell me that you want to have threesome with me. No, that's a no. That's that's the height of disrespect to your wife, to a woman you call your wife. So feel free to call the number on the screen, and please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. Hello. Hello. Are you there? I think we lost. Okay, I think we lost that caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. We have another caller. Turn down the volume of your TV so that we can hear you. It doesn't get to echo. We're talking about threesome, BDSM, OG party. Suddenly, everybody's now a scent. Be bold. The same way people are bold. Hello? 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 Hmm. Be bold, like I said. If most of you can be bold to come out and say you're a cross-dresser, you are bold to come out and say you are gay. Be bold to come and tell us how it is now. You know, maybe we are misunderstanding you guys. Hello? Hello, ma. Good evening. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Claire. Calling from... Okay. You want to contribute to the show? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. What I just... I think... There is no point. Okay. You're breaking, so I can barely hear you. Okay, I think we lost that caller. Please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. Very, very important. 
very, very important. Like I said, we're still talking about threesome, anal sex, orgy party, and all this crazy fetish a lot of people actually want. That's what we're talking about. And we would like to hear from real life people, those who have experienced it. You can tell us anonymously. Let us know what we are missing exactly in this anal sex and in this orgy party. So I'm going to see you. Let's quickly go on a break. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Don't change that number. Be racking your head. So that when I come back, I could pick up your calls. Hi guys, welcome back. It's to channel 189 DSTV Pop Central. Moments with blessing to see you. Apologies for the breaking transmission. All right? We are right back. So for those of you who are just coming and sitting on your screen, you don't know what it's about. So we're talking about a married woman who her husband is forcing her to have anal sex, forcing her to do a threesome, or he's going to divorce her. Unfortunately, this woman said they've been married for six years and she doesn't have a child. And her husband is giving her an ultimatum that if she doesn't have a threesome or she doesn't allow him to have sexual intercourse with her, that he's going to divorce her. So that's what we're talking about tonight and we'll need you to call in to share your opinion. The number is right in front of your screen. And please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. Hello? Hello, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, darling. How are you? What's your name and where are you calling from? Um, my contribution on this matter is that the woman should seriously believe, ma'am. The woman should do I'm Miss Agnes calling from Kanu. Okay. You want to contribute to the show? Yes. Go ahead. The woman should just leave the marriage. Okay. So that, if not, anything she does, tomorrow the man is going to use it against her. And nobody, nobody will believe her anymore. They will assume she is the one at fault. I agree with you. God bless you That's so much. What... God bless you. She said the same thing we've been talking about. Leave the marriage. Because when it happens right now, the man will not even be bold enough to come and say, it is threesome. He might just look for one allegation and say because you're barren or because you're a prostitute, that's why you cannot give birth. So you've heard from women. Um, they say leave the marriage. I understand that leaving marriage is very difficult. But I think you will have to sit your husband down and communicate. We have another caller. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. How are you doing? What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm calling from... My name is Fatima. Okay, ma'am. You want to contribute to the show? Go ahead. My contribution, my contribution to this is that there is nothing in me that I man is not impotent. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the woman should know for her dear life. There is nothing in me that I man is not impotent. You understand? So the woman should know for her dear life. The marriage is not my fault. I think we lost that call. I wasn't hearing what you were saying. At some point, it was breaking. Please feel free to call the number on your screen. Hello? To contribute. And when you're calling, please turn down the volume of your TV. When you don't turn down the volume of your TV, trust me, you won't be able to hear me. And I will not be able to hear you. You are still a moment with blessing to you. And we're talking about everything that happens behind closed doors. Hello? 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 Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, what's your name and where are you calling from, please? Uh, my name is Ndurisi, calling from Abuja. Okay, sir, you want to contribute to the show? Go ahead, sir. Okay. What I want to contribute is, I don't feel like there's any marriage. Like, you know, actually, sex is meant for marriage. Married men, um, couples. Let me put it that way, couples. But it doesn't mean we should abuse it. How can you be asking your wife you are staying in the same house with for three some? And they. But wait, what I want to get is that three some, is it? 
is the man trying to call his friends or he wants, she wants to have three ladies? If you ask How? me, who will I ask? <laughs> if you ask me, who will I ask? <laughs> she wasn't detailed about that. She just, it was a short story. She wasn't detailed. So we are just trying to um, advise her based on our knowledge. But she was not detailed to know if it's man and man or man and woman. She didn't detail that in the mail that she sent to us. Because that is what I was thinking. How can a man with his normal sense be telling his wife that he wants to do so and Anon says, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe my own suggestion, the man is not ready to stay in that relationship or marriage anymore. Yes, so I think he's just looking flag. for something. That to cling on to. That's a good flag, honestly. Mm. Uh, just for the woman don't even need to ask for any opinion or advice. It's just to do away for the marriage or relationship. My dear, it's not easy. We could just sit down and shout, do it, do it. Well, this is my first time calling in your show. Thank I don't you. know if this is the, the same blessed CEO I've been hearing about. Are you serious? It's so, me. Why look Susan different? Started watching your, Susan started listening to your video on this uh, central pub. I've been enjoying it, it's massive. But I was asking myself, is it the same blessing CEO from a boy instead that I've been talking about? Hey, it's me. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you for your contribution. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you for your contribution. You heard it from the mouth of a man. I didn't say you should not do threesome. We don't come and go and pull and come and. I said he has to be willing. Anybody you want to do it with, let him be willing. For me, anybody that asks me for three, some will call it two by two, no, four by four, your neck first, before we start anything. I will use four by four. Because uh, the place is still juicy. Hello, we have a caller. Hello? I think we lost the caller. When you have a juicy place like juice, a woman's private part naturally has this natural juice that comes out that makes sex so sweet ah let me man look come up close for national internet national television it makes we have a caller hello? now that i'm in the spirit hello 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 good evening sir what's your name and where are you calling from this barrister then barrister is there anything you want to contribute to the show yeah go ahead sir yeah this Sir, so please turn down the volume of your TV. Yeah, of course. Okay, go ahead, sir. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear, sir. Go ahead. Well, you are talking to another one. Please, when you call, kindly turn down the volume of your television. Before we quickly get another call or pick another call, please, I want to say something. When we were having this anal sex, is the place juicy? Because what makes a woman's private part interesting is when she's wet. You know, you just sleep it in and just enjoy yourself. Anal sex, how far? No with lubricants that they use. In fact, yes, it's enough that sue anybody that is selling lubricants in this whole Lagos. <laughs> you are using lubricant because it's not natural. It's not a natural place to have sexual. That's why you be poor lubricants. Those of you that cannot afford lubricant, you sell Vaseline. Or you, this, ah, they need to ban Vaseline. To, it's contraband. <laughs> you always have different alternatives to do the crazy things in your head. But for me, it's a no-no. So feel free to call the number right on your screen. And please, when you're calling, turn down the volume of your TV. We want to do more of calls and hear different opinions from different wonderful people. Hello? Hello? I think we lost the caller. Please, if you're calling, turn down the volume of your television. So I'm still saying for men who actually have anal sex, I'm still trying to phantom what you actually see in the anus. Ah. Hello? Hello? Good evening, sir. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. What's your name and where are you calling from, sir? My name is Darius OK. Call you from Banana Island. Oh, she. Okay, please give us your contribution. Yeah. 
Now, what kind of giant market can I do, 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 do? So, are you talking to us? This man we call, say they live for Banana Island. Now, wow, God will help us. Our next introduction is going to be Banana Island. If they ask you, where do you live? Come here, say, I live in Lagos City. I live in Banana Island. Oh, oh Lord, shine your mercy upon us. So, we're still talking about the woman who her husband is imposing, and our sex on her is imposing threesome. If you are that woman, it might not necessarily be an our sex threesome or whatever, but let a man not force you to do what you are not willing to do. So before I leave the set, I want to create some sort of chaos and leave something at the back of your mind. The same way you can tell your husband that you don't want this kind of sex, you don't want the kind of sex. It's the same way you can tell your husband that I don't want to cook. It is not my duty to cook. See you guys next time. Same station, same time. You can go and fight with your keeper right now. It's not your duty to cook. So you can say no. I love you guys and have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. Mwah.